a substance will change from a liquid to a solid by simply changing the temperature. For example, if you took honey and you got it really cold, it gets really, really hard. I want to show you how to do this, but without temperature. I want to show you how to do it with chemistry by linking the molecules together. Let's start with the secret ingredient. That's borax. It's an old time detergent. You're going to need a couple tablespoons. So that'll be perfect. But let's start with the water. So in just a measuring container, about two cups of water. That's about 500 milliliters or so. Perfect. And now you're going to add about two tablespoons of the borax. Just stir it up like this. And believe it or not, it's that simple. This is what we're going to call our cross-linking solution. Okay, you're done with the powdered borax. You're gonna need a big mixing bowl. This is our glue. And I'm gonna make a 50-50 mixture. So 50% of the white glue and 50% water. And now let me add the water. Feels like that's perfect. Take your spoon, mix it around. You want all of that glue incorporated into the water because the next part is the best part. That's where we add the linking solution. Add a few ounces of the cross-linking solution and get ready to get messy. So now hands are inside and you're gonna feel, oh, it's perfect, look at this. Immediately look at what you start to get. This is why they call it a cross-linking solution. We're literally linking these long strains of molecules together that make up the glue. Now you're gonna have to get in and really squeeze it between your fingers. Can you hear that? Listen to this. Ah, it's just squeezing between my fingers and it is a mess. This is really starting to look good, but I wanna tear it apart and I wanna to try to get as much surface area on all of this glue as possible because that sodium tetraborate or the borax solution there, we want those molecules to get in and hook those long strains of molecules together. Well, this is when you know you're done. Look at this, it picks it all up from the sides and all of that liquid becomes a solid, but it's really a solid and a liquid. If you hold on to it like this, notice how it flows in my hand, almost like a glacier, right? Just this very, very slow motion. Yet at any time, if I put pressure on it, there's a shear factor to it. I can actually break it. <gasps> Look at this. Can you see right in here? It looked like it broke into two pieces and you can see the lines of force that were there. Yet at the same time, when you push it together again, it becomes a liquid. This slime-like stuff is what some toys are made from that you might know. Things like Silly Putty, Gak, Floam. The same sort of substance goes into the gel insert you might put in your running shoes. 